up unconventionalists in today's video we are going to orlando florida to visit walt disney world and see the grandparents after spending the past three weeks in the virgin islands and a month in central america before that we are so excited to be back in the united states orlando is a place we visit often because we have so much family in the area but it never gets old there's so many different fun hotels and parks here we always try to book a hotel with a water park or a splash pad or something extra special for the kids on our first day in Orlando, we explored our hotel, Coco Key Resort, and swam in the pool before the grandparents arrived. Mommy, you were able to get a hairbrush. It feels very Asian Mommy, to have everything in a vending machine. Yeah. They have bedtime chairs. Yeah, they have swim diapers. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, it's huge. I <laughs> didn't know it. Be this fun, but now can we please get blackfish? Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. It's really nice. Oh. Get in there. Scott's dad, Grandpa Paul, and his wife, G, are in town from the villages, which is like an hour and a half away, just to come play with us here in Orlando. In true grandparent fashion, our first order of business was to go to Chuck E. Cheese. Where are we going? To the arcade? Yeah! Are you? Chuck E. Cheese. What is Chuck E. Cheese? I guess we'll see. There used to be a lot of these when I was a kid. I've never been in a Chuck E. Cheese. That's an eatable ring? Yeah. Edible ring? On our second day in Orlando, it was time for us to head to Walt Disney World. We did take our boys to Walt Disney World once before, back in 2021, and we did Epcot and Animal Kingdom back then, and it was super fun, and they were super little, but I'm not sure they remember very much about it, but they're definitely at the ages now to remember. Back in 2021 when we went, there was still all the like COVID rules and signups and reservations and all that, but that wasn't the case now. We weren't able to go to Magic Kingdom then, but we are able to go to Magic Kingdom today, so we're super excited to finally get the boys there. Wait, guys, what are we doing today? Disney! Disney! We were not expecting it to be so cold in Orlando, but when we were leaving our hotel on this morning, it was 37 degrees out. All the way. The dude. Magic Kingdom Ferry. Cinderella's Castle. Yeah, I like it. Oh. Magic, Magic Kingdom! Kingdom! <laughs> Come on, boys! Come on, boys! Show your belly. That's our first, our first spin. Baby's first spin. No! Take us all the way up. How high does it go? Up! 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 Oh man! The big goof. The Goofini. The Goofelson. Say hi. Say hello. <laughs> High five. Oh, the big Donald. Say hi, Donald. Hi, Donald. What do you call a group of rabbits walking backwards? Say what? What? A receding hairline. <laughs> Magic Kingdom was amazing, especially for our kids who are age five and six on this trip. All right, what are we doing this time? Oh, nice show. What are we doing this time, Isle? The, um, the Mermaid. Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid. They hop everywhere, guys. Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. Hey, Mom's still over there in the corner, just, just doing her job. Look at her over there. Crazy 
busy it is. Are we pooing? We need the poo! <laughs> We've been waiting for this ride all day. Yeah. Well, guys, we're going small world. Small world. <laughs> Hall of Presidents. Guys, that one's George Washington. Your boy's tired on the end of a Disney day. <laughs> they have done their steps. Can we imagine? Hi, all dead. Say magic carpet. Magic carpet. Magic carpet. <laughs> Oh look, it leans it forward and backward. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Easy. Whoa, okay, okay. Okay, ow, that hurt. I'm a big fan of taking a down day on Disney trips. Disney is exhausting, not just for the kids, but also for the adults. I highly recommend taking a day to rest, see other parts of Orlando, hit your hotels, water parks, stuff like that in between your park days on your Disney trip. There's so many fun things to do in the city, you will not be bored. We started off our down day at Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. Come to Ripley's Believe It or Not. <laughs> Come to this baby turtle. Headless chicken. Headless chicken. Headless chicken. Headless chicken. Headless chicken. Next to the tallest man in the world. Look at my tongue's right side up. <laughs> See, I can twist it. Right next to the museum is Orlando's Icon Park, which is home to one of the biggest Ferris wheels in the world. Thank you, appreciate it. We're going up. Do we need gentle feet? I don't like you stomping in here. We're at the top of the world, guys. Yes, we are. Does it feel like we're up there? It feels like we're way up there. Ooh, we're so high. Are you up there? Up Orlando. Like I hope the water park at our hotel was finally open on day three. It had been so chilly here that the water park wasn't actually open, which is a bummer because it's like why we booked that hotel. But our kids took full advantage and they basically had the whole water park to themselves. The red and white one. Oh man, it looks like there's a lot of slides here and you have the whole place to yourself. Yeah. Get up there, go to the left. Not, but that side's closed. This side's open. This one's way back. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo! needed a partner for the red and white one, but the kids aren't tall enough and I'm pregnant, so he had to find a buddy for it. Look, Dad's coming, look! Woo! <laughs> Woo! There you go! Woo! There you go! <laughs> that makes you go backwards, you do it like 
on cold butts. <laughs> highlights of our time in Orlando on this trip was the Chef Nikki dining experience. The food was great, but the best part was seeing Atlas and Isle so excited to meet all the characters. I felt like ages five and six were perfect for this experience. Dude, how cool is that? Incredible. I've been waiting to see one of these bad boys. The thing is awesome. I win. Oh. That was pretty quick. <laughs> the, the oh, come here. Oh, his ears? He sees those big ears. Boys, boys, boys. It's Chef Donald also. Donald's here. It's Donald. Donald. Oh. <laughs> what are you Did you tell him he rode his ride yesterday? Yeah, your ride was the first roller coaster he ever rode in his whole life yesterday. <laughs> it was so fast. Yay, Minnie. Minnie made it. <laughs> So nice to meet you! Good oh. to meet you! The double D. Oh, give a Donald a hug! Oh, Welcome, Grandpa! <laughs> oh, Mickey! Say Disney! Disney! <laughs> If you do want to do a character dining experience on your trip to Disney World, be sure to book it super early because we had booked this like two months in advance and the only time left was 8.30 p.m. which is super late for our little kids, especially the night before going back to the theme park. Our last full day near Walt Disney World was spent at Epcot. We did do Epcot a couple years ago and had a fantastic experience, so we were excited to share this one with the grandparents. The newest thing at Epcot is the Journey of Water, the, the Moana experience. Gentle water tumbles down the mountain, filling the world with its happy music. Is that cool? Went from five to 15 minutes while we were in Moana. Good morning. Ready, Atlas? First ride of the day? Have you found him yet? Haven't found him yet. What's the story? The story's like flying. Are we gonna come back still? Yeah, we'll come back. You know how some songs are under the sea? This one's over Cali. Over Cali. <laughs> the Ratatouille 4D ride was brand new and it was next level. If you are going to Disney World anytime soon, hands down, you got to do the Ratatouille experience at Epcot. Where could we be going? We're going to Paris. Why do we need glasses? Mom? I feel like I'm dancing. Ah, <laughs> our Disney trip watching the fireworks at Epcot. It was the perfect finale to a great trip here in Orlando. Don't forget to subscribe because in our next video, we are headed to the Space Coast. Until next time, keep exploring life outside the box.